Welcome back today to How Do I Get You to Watch This Podcast. Starting with a little dance for you. Okay. Just a little. A little something. I actually haven't heard the whole version of this. So that's kind of why I wanted to play it. Listen to this. I hope you hear that. Here's a good one. A little dead to start our day here. I'll tell you that. Ooh. Uh. I got that good stuff that you want. Let me be your push it, push it, I got that good stuff that you want. Let me be your push, push. Ooh. This is the part that should be on TikTok. That's the thing, but behind every 30 second TikTok song, there's a whole song. Let me be your push, push. And behind every song there's an idiot like me to play it oh come on Alec don't put yourself down like that I actually like this a lot Uh uh-huh 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 okay Is that how that song ends? That's how that song ends. Yeah, well, um, you know, your boy's a little dead. Your boy's a little tired. Uh, he's, you know, walks around, does lots of things, you know, but he wanted to come back here, and he's opening, he's starting off with the voices. I don't know what that is. Are you not comfortable with yourself, Alec? Can you not actually sit here by yourself? You got to do voices and pretend you're other people. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You know, I wonder that. I always do, I always do, uh, this is actually really, um, personal, but I'll share it with you because here we're personal on the podcast. Let me tell you, me and you, we look eye to eye, you sit there or lay or stand or pace, you know, whatever you want to do. And I sit here and you know, we look eye to eye or you hear me, you know, it's my eye or my voice to your ear, you know, this is direct line of communication. What was I saying? So we get personal about things. That's what I was saying. We get personal about things. So I'll tell you, I always do the voice with my girl, you know, and then sometimes like, I don't know, I don't want to say we're fighting, but sometimes we'll be like doing the voice when we're not exactly, you know, in uh, obsessed with each other. And I'm like, what is going on right now? Am I being fake? Like, you know, it's, it's a lot. There's probably so many different ways that we like try to mask our, like I, our, persona and things like that you know you don't want people to judge you so you hide pieces of your personality or you you put on airs you try to pretend like maybe you're something that you're not you know in this case your boy oh is pretending to be a jabroni uh also uh an italian jabroni huh some guy that lives up the block he's just a gabagool what is that alec you're not comfortable enough to sit with yourself you know, um, but hold on. C shanty. Uh, let's type this into Soundstripe and see what we get. Yeah, that was um okay. Oh no 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 no. Oh, no! This one, this one, this one, this one. There we go. 
All these songs are terrible. Can I tell you that? Every single song I've ever tried to play on Soundstripe that I try to get behind, it's just like, I don't even want to get behind it. I'm like, eh, so right, you know? The guy, uh, Neon Beach, actually, does it. has a couple songs. One of them's like Fruit Punch something or some BS, but I use it as a lot of intros is why I bring it up. It's a nice boppy techno. But yeah, yo, this is uh, Rainbows and Sunshine recorded live from New York. It's Rainbows and Sunshine with your guest, Seth Myers. Nah, I guess I've seen that a couple times. I could probably do that, huh? It's not the right intro. It is the... Nope, not the right intro. <laughs> Being silly. And welcome back into Metal Life Stadium. Wrong intro. What's up, YouTube? This is Custom Grow 420 coming at you. Don't, don't remember that all the way, honestly. Nah, this is Rainbows and Sunshine, bitches. Okay, and I don't say that lightly. I say that I looked you in the eye when I said that. Rewind it if you didn't see it. Okay, I didn't pussyfoot around it. Just like I don't pussyfoot around my girlfriend. Totally. You know, it's okay. She could be in charge. I really don't need to be in charge. I could be in charge of a few things, but honestly, there's certain things that I could just do without being in charge. But I play this song because, uh, yeah, I'm coming live to you. Yeah, I looked up the calendar and then exited out of the calendar because your boy... That guy doesn't know what's going on. Come on, Jim. Jim, my producer, he's behind the, the camera. You can't, behind the glass. You can't see him, but he's back there. But nah, we playing this pirate. We playing this, this uh, A Pirate's Life by Wicked Cinema. Terrible name. Crystalia, change it. Gotta, probably gotta come up with my own jokes right but if i tell them that it's your jokes is that okay does that make it okay i mean the thing is you don't get to make any rules you could listen to my rules or you could you know hey but yeah man rainbows and sunshine this is episode 46 it's uh january 25th damn i was wishing it was the 6th because that'd be really sick if we were doing the 46th on the 6th da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, and we back here in my make sure nothing else. Matters. We back here in the shack here, um, and we're chilling. You know, it's a th Wednesday night. Um, was supposed to work, but didn't work. Uh, you know, I actually this is crazy. Well, I've done this a couple times, but like I went to pick up a shift. You know, because I don't work a regular job. I work a job where. You know, there's an online schedule that could be uh, adjusted. The list is fluid, like Stephen A. says. Um, but this fluid list, I, I uh, somebody dropped their Wednesday night, in, and I was, I was feeling. Can I tell you? Yesterday, I felt so productive. I felt like, hey, like we're gonna get out there tomorrow, and we're gonna conquer the world. So I'm checking. Nobody approved the shift change. You know, I don't normally work Wednesday. That's the thing. I, I say it was Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I don't normally work Wednesday because, um, yeah, uh, kind of a bum, I guess you could say, so to speak. You know, don't put yourself down, they say, but I mean, hey, nobody else is here to make fun of, you know? Normally, I like to make fun of uh, guest number one and two, but uh, that's, that's, that's just me today. Just me and my hydration drinks and my weed pens. You know, I got a lot on the mind and I'm all trying to like get it out to you properly, you know, because this is so different from like my normal pot or I guess this is the normal podcast, but like doing it with a guest, which I feel like I do more often because that's kind of like easy. Like I could kind of like boom, fly that one in there, you know. Nice little drop off to the running back. You know, he'll pick up a little chunk and we're good. You know, this is like kind of throwing that deep ball. And uh, I don't know who I got back there, like Ted Ginn Jr. or like uh, Nelson Aguilar, you know, somebody with like bad hands. How about uh, 
what's his face? Uh, Jerem, no, better than that. Evan Ingram last year when he was on the Giants. Or how about my guy who dropped that pass uh, against Minnesota? Forget who that was. Could have could have lost us the game there. Uh, Slayton, I believe. Nah, it, it ain't like throwing a deep pass because it's not like I'm trying to score a touchdown out here. If anything, you know, I'm just trying to kick that extra point, you know. Keep everything, keep it moving, keep it locked. But like this is this isn't a conversation. I'm not listening to somebody. Um, I'm not really, except for myself, which is enough people to listen to. Hey, but there's also no feedback, you know, so I don't know if it's like whatever, but I always say, listen, sometimes I feel like I got to be funny, but like, and now you're going to be like, oh, he's not going to be funny today. I'll turn it off. No, come on. You don't listen for that. You don't. I don't know. I was saying something. Uh, yeah, I got two phones now, and that's just a... Uh... Yeah, Wednesday. Oh, but I was saying I picked up the shift. was feeling mad productive yesterday, and, you know, kept checking. Nobody, you know, no approval. Kept checking, no approval. It's like 2.30 now. Shifts at 5, it's like 2.30 now. I'm like, uh, nobody approved it. You know, I reached out a little bit. I didn't call my job directly, but I spoke to a few of the higher ups and I said, you know, I uh, put in a little shift. You want to, and they were like, oh, you know, so still sat there, didn't get approved. Um, and, uh, I died (laughs) Tuesday. Like I said, felt so productive, but today just, I was, and I woke up, I woke up early. You know, something I've been trying to do is is wake up earlier. I think since not working electrical and not having the job that you have to that I have to get up at five AM for, which was terrible, which I hated. You know, but the thing is once you get up for it, you are up for it. And you are up. Which is good. Now, was I going to bed at ten o'clock? Yes. Did the lights just turn off in my backyard? Did my backyard lights just turn off? Yes. Is it 11.30? So that's probably when the timer is set to turn them off. Yes. Is this, again, crystalline material? Yes. But I mean, hey, formulas, man. That's what they teach you in math. They teach you formulas. So you go with the formula, you know. I thought it was funny when I heard it. Now, do I do it too often? Yes. Did I just do it right there? Yes. Is it so easy to do? Yes. I don't like the lights being... It's I, I'm trying to think of another way <laughs> to live wrong. I don't like the lights being turned off, though. You know, that doesn't bring me comfort. Uh, as much as I'm a man who likes to sit in the dark, you know, street lights turning off is not good. And I don't care how old I am, I will always be scared of a backyard especially on a rainy day like today. Now, what was I talking about before I got distracted by the lights and the sounds? Yeah, 2.30. Was not feeling as productive. Was not, oh, getting up early. Once you're up, yeah, I hated getting up early. Recalled it. I got it. I got it, so don't think that I missed it. I know that we were on the point about, you know, talking about something, but we got sidetracked by the point of not working the job. Yeah, I don't know why we were talking about not working the job. Oh, getting up early, but yeah, now that I don't, you know, do that, I'm just, schedule's all messed up, you know, instead of Going, I'm just going to sleep at like 4 or 5 in the morning, waking up 11, 12, and then the day is over. Boom, before you thought. Just like today, the day was over. It was two, it's 2.30, two and I already had, and I had seven more things to do, and I'm like, wow, well, we have work at 5. How is this going to go today? And I thought about the $100 I was going to make at work, uh, and I thought about the sanity that I wanted. Um... And I made an educated choice, an educated decision to uh, cancel my um, shift request, to cancel the pickup request for uh, said person. This was a specific person. This wasn't like, you know, 
uh, to enlighten those folks who might not be as familiar with such situations. I like people can drop their shifts and I could pick up people's shifts. Also a manager could put up, put up a house shift, but this wasn't what I was picking up. I didn't was picking up a house shift. Some lady, Stacy will say dropped her shift. And Alec thought yeah, on Tuesday, um, maybe I could go into work tomorrow. You know, I could use some cash in the middle of the week. You know, I'd be going through my weed pen like it's bazooka bubble gum and we're the New York Yankees. But, you know, it's like on Friday, I spent my, my whole paycheck on, on weed, which is bad, terrible. Every time, any way you want to slice it, you can you can't justify it. But, you know, I also see that here's the confliction is you buy what, what you want. You know, I'm not at the grocery store like bananas are $5. You know, uh, last week they were four. I'm not going to get them. What I want, I buy. I try not to look at the prices. You know, that's my own personal feeling of like wealth. You know, wealth to me is like, I don't have to check my card. I don't have to be like, oh, well, this is $5 and it was $4 last time. You know, even if that's whatever, poor financial decision making, fine. That's that's how we roll. That's how I do it. Okay, I just, you, you're not here for somebody else. You're not here for somebody else's decisions. You're here for my decisions. So that's why I told you my decisions. Yeah, so like I said, anyway, you slice it, spending your whole paycheck plus maybe like 10, 15 on weed, not good for a whole day's work. You know, I, I hate whenever like a whole day's work is like, boom, like going out to dinner always kills me. Like, you just spent a whole day's work on sitting, having one meal. You know, granted, you're with your family. You love your family. They're nice people. Your mother, she's a nice lady. You know, your girlfriend, it's happy to see her there. You know, it's we're great to have everybody there for a wonderful time. Uh, but on my dime, uh, I like to rhyme. And um, it will not be fine when I hear a bell chime in the middle of the night. Because I will be a fright. Damn, yo. <laughs> hit, hit one pen hit in and your boy is rhyming. Gotta stop saying that. You know, I told myself, you cannot say that anymore. And I just be referring to myself as, as your boy. Like, um, you know, literal him or something. And I feel like it's just, it's just, ah, it's horrendous. I heard somebody else say it and I said, ooh, ooh, can't say that anymore. Gotta cut it out of the vernacular. But we've worked so hard to get it into the vernacular that now it's stuck. Now I'm stuck, you know. Things get stuck. Brains get stuck. There's only certain amount of things that can really be going on at one time. Like, for example, now we have eight lines, streams of consciousness going on. Have we wrapped up maybe any of these points? No. Will we go back to them? Yes. Are we doing this joke again? Also, yes. It's a formula, folks. Boom. Plug-in joke here. Laugh now. Ha, ha, ha. Hit the like button and subscribe. There you go. That's the formula. And then your boy, your boy, will keep putting out more films, uh, more short films and ramblings that he likes. Yeah, way different with no one else uh, with without a guest. A conversation is fun. A conversation ebbs and flows. You know, it's interesting because it's like a yin, not a yin yang, but it's like it's like a game of catch. It's like a game of word catch. You don't want to drop the ball. Um, but the thing is, everybody has a ball. It's like a game of catch where you all have balls and you just throw them balls at everybody. And you know, you're trying to throw a ball at Joe, but Joe didn't see that that you know Frankie's throwing a ball at you. So there's a lot to it, you know. I don't claim to understand or know any, a lot about other people. Um, I try to pay attention to and think about uh, other people's, you know, sympathize, understand what, I guess not like, net, it, yeah, I don't know if that's the right word, but like I try to, you know, think about what would this person think? How are they feeling about me? Um. You know, I try. Do I exactly do? No. Not every time. I try to be a nice guy, 
But here I am the other day yelling at people. I I like to think I'm level-headed, a happy, you know, go lucky motherfucker. But I'm out here yelling at people, causing scenes. Uh, just just fully, you know, you wake up the next day and you're like, you know, you you wish you didn't do that, but you did do that. You know, I act out of emotion for certain. Um, I think I can get hangry and also some other things, you know, can add to that lack of any type of nutrition or sleep or the too much alcohol in my system. So many things change and affect the mood. So you like to think you're a nice guy and a happy, chill guy, but sometimes you're not. Um, but yeah, then you think the next day, uh, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, but yeah, like today, or I guess is a great example, is a different example of it, but it's very silly, uh, you know, picking somebody's shift up and then at two 30, I mean, the main exam, the main thing is like, I still wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to go to the gym. I had work to do in the morning. Okay, we're beating around the bush. I'm drawing out the story way longer than it needs to be. But, but, butts, I like butts. I like a butt, a butt from a uh, Uruguayan woman uh, and a little bit Bolivian. Um, yeah, she's she's got a nice butt. Oh, uh, just uh, such a silly man. I, you know, I, I got home from the gym. I haven't hit my pen in like hours. I think that's what's good about going to the gym. I really like uh, it. Like I'm not hitting my, I'm not doing my vices. I'm not hitting my pen. I'm not doing any nicotine, which I've been very good with. I guess that's not like a knock on wood. Be lucky about it. You know, that's me. Um, there's obviously things that play into that, that maybe like it wasn't a choice, like maybe like my throat hurts and maybe that's why, but it's a lot of things, you know, cause nothing like a sickness to not pack a lip for a week, you know, get you and you're like, wow, this is great, but it's not great, you know, cause it's like, and this is something that's a, a prevalent thought in my mind is the fact that I'm not 13 anymore. I'm not the 13-year-old boy who's walking into the woods to pack his first lip or, you know, take his first bong rip. We're 24 now. We're 10, 11 years of your life of consistently doing and giving into those vices, letting those vices win, which maybe was like whatever when you were a teenager, but it's crazy how much I've like changed almost as a person, but still like those things are prevalent. And I, probably this is what an addiction is, but it's like you're not even you don't even know if those things are like good anymore. You're not even like sure like do I even like being this high? Do I even you know I put a lip in my mouth and I spit it out. You know it's the thought of packing a lip more than actually packing the lip that I is what I want. And you know that's that's a tobacco. If anybody's confused, like a Copenhagen packing a lip. I mean, I think that's the thing with vices is you're like, it's, you don't even want the thing. It's the, you know, the anticipation of the thing. And then, oh, I get to do the thing. You know, the whole, the ritual that go, you know, the, it's the before and it's not even, it's not even the thing, but that's it's probably also an addiction. But yeah, I don't think I've ever did that. I don't think I've ever... Well, I have done that, actually. That's totally a lie. I've totally picked up people's shifts and then canceled it. But I've also dropped my shift and then canceled dropping my shift. Okay. So don't come at me, haters. But this was a funny situation because I dropped it at 2.30. You know, most of the time I make contact with a person. Or like a lot of the time when you pick up a shift, they'll like ask you or you'll like ask them. Yeah, like you make contact with the person. 
or it's your friend. So like you'll text them and you'll be like, oh, like I picked up your shift. Like, did you see that? And they're like, yeah, like, you know, he didn't approve it, but you could, you know, build and approve the shift change, but just go in, you know, you're fine. So you don't even worry about it. But I like to operate through the proper channels. I like structure. I'm a guy that needs structure, loves it, systems, things that are put in place. I don't like uh, people that break out of that, you know. I don't like when people just decide to bring their speaker into the pool room at the 24-hour fitness and play R&B. You know, I don't care how smooth and sensual the black lady sounds that's singing it or how good the jazz, the saxophone, or, or I mean how seductive, I should say, the saxophone is to my ear holes. Not the place and not the time. And I don't feel like, who are you to even show up with a speaker? A loud ass boombox to project to the whole room. There's there's way more people in the it's not like it's just me and you. It's not like we're at a basketball court outside. It's not like we're hippies on it in a hippie com, commune. It's not like this is karaoke night at the local Benny Hanna's, you know? We are at the gym in the sauna, steam room, hot tub, you know, a place where you could argue people go to relax. Funny thing about me, I don't really find music relaxing. Music isn't like a relaxing thing for me. You know, I like peace and quiet. I feel like that's nice and relaxing. Um, but music is not really like relaxing. Music is very like, oh, let's go, you know, conquer some territory. You know, my, my, and my animal instincts of a hunter appear when I hear music. Oh, 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 oh. Loud noises, hit things, throw a stick at one. You know, and then I go to the gym and I activate my muscles. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm not at home like yeah you know like I don't know I don't know music isn't relaxing to me and one could argue that the sauna pool room is an area of relaxation I specifically me guy here would argue that was I interested in having the argument no but was I interested in giving this man Lots of stairs. You know, did I look at his boombox more than him because he was taller than me and a man that, you know, I felt was more physically gifted than me? You know, yeah, I just kind of like looked at his boombox and shook my head because did I want a confrontation? Not exactly. I think I'd had my fair share for the day um, at that point. You know, I'm usually good with like one or two confrontations a, co- a week and I actually happened to have both of those on Sunday, so I, I, I'm good. I got that out. I got that out. It was funny because I had been like so, yeah, I don't know, like anger has been like frustration, you know, like overall disdain and and like, uh, you know, when a man gets crotchety, you know, get off my lawn, you know, I, it's all coming out of me. I like to pretend like things don't bother me and I'm a chill guy. But even like people having a conversation when I'm in the sauna, it's like, yeah, like you think Bianca's going to like open my Snapchat? Like, nah, man, like stop. Like, you know, that's my girl. I told you not to hit her up. Yeah, but like I thought like low key, you know, I should like, is she going to go to that thing? Like, we're all supposed to go there, right? I'll go there. No, you know, she, but she's not open to my Snapchat. Yeah, that's the conversations that I have to, like, listen to in the sauna. What the frick were people talking about today? I can't even, I can't even. I try to mind my business. Yo, I'm the worst. I try to mind my business. I try to sit there and be like, eh, just looking. you know, I'm studying... We're changing our menu, so I'm like, I got to re-memorize it because we're having a test. So like, uh, you know, 
the like I'm trying to read. I like I like to read in. The, I could do that in the sauna. That's what I'm saying. I could kill my two birds with one stone, which you're not allowed to say anymore because that promotes animal cruelty. PETA officially knows the Stanford is the article I wrote on this. Hopefully I can boom, pull it up for you. Uh, the, or at least some type of graphic for you to see right there. But I think said that you cannot no longer say kill two birds with one stone because that is insensitive to birds, man. Okay. And we all have friends that are f- birds, you know, flightly friends, you know, that like to sprout their wings. Sprout their wings, man. Sprout their wings. Yeah, man. Sprout their wings. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I've been lying to myself about this or how long I've been lying to myself about this or if these are recent changes in my behavior. But I'm just pissed off at everybody. Everybody, everything. Do I, I feel like maybe I think that I'm, it's funny to be pissed off at stuff like, hey, man, you know, like I'm on Seinfeld, like I'm George on Seinfeld, like, man, what the ratchet, man, when they get the ketchup at the diner, how come they got the ketchup bottle? I want the ketchup in the glass bottle, I want it in the plastic bottle, because that's a bottle I like. You know, obviously we know I'm particular, or maybe you don't know that. Folks, I am particular. DM my girlfriend, ask her. She's been on the show before. You know who she is. And if you don't, rewatch the episodes. Figure it out. I'm not here to hold your hand. We're going forward. We're not going backward. I'm not here to let you know, let you in on stuff. Take what you want. You know, make of it what you want. Imply, infer what you want. I don't care. I don't care. (laughs) <laughs> it's mostly this is for me you know it's funny you don't like uh, if you cough you know they say you get higher if you cough from when you take a hit. <clears throat> and that's actually because something to do with the lack of oxygen that that creates. <clears throat> so it's not even the weed that's getting you high. It's a lack of oxygen to the brain that's being cut off. And, <clears throat> you know, something about coughing and getting high. And it's a thing that I like to do. It's crazy. Though, um, yeah, I, uh, the situation, because I want to fill you in on the rest of it. We just, add something pops something into my brain and then I go off on the tangent because I want the tangent. That's why you should maybe make a list before you do these. But, hey, I like to go with the flow. I'm nothing if not flexible. Yeah, but, you know, so, so I declined it. I did, I, I. Dropped the pickup. No longer says anything. Now, on Stacy's end, she got an email. Once the second I pick it up, Stacy gets an email. Alec picked up your shift. Now it sends another email. If I cancel it, it'll 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 inform her of both of those things. Now, um, we'll call her V Money. Uh. Gives me a call on the phone. She says, not going to do her voice. Come on. Don't let the intrusive thoughts win. I feel like that might be an NPC comment at this point. It's fine. I'll just do a nice, It's. I'll just do my voice. I. I <laughs> Are you coming in today? You know, um. <laughs> So what's this I hear said that uh, Stacy said that you're picking up a shift and, uh, you know, I don't see anything here. You know, V Money's going, oh, I don't, I don't, I didn't see any, I don't see anything. She's giving me a call. She said you picked up a shift. I ain't got no shift here. 
Now, all of a sudden, V Money's an Italian mob boss. We're going to roll with that. We're going to keep uh, Gabagool style. She says, yeah, you know, she called me. She said, maybe you picked up a shift. And I said, and I told her. Because I don't like to lie. You know, honesty, as we've gone over, is a full-time job. Honesty is a full-time job. You can't expect to lie to V-Money and be telling the truth to, yeah, be telling the truth when it when it counts. It might only count once a day, but all other 10 times the day got really high. It's just right there. Just got really high right there. That second, during that sentence. <laughs> I could tell because the comprehension dropped off. The ability before, when I was recalling the points, it's... <laughs> was good, but we can't do that anymore. We're not recalling the points anymore. We don't know where we're going. We're going with the story about Stacy. And I said, oh, I didn't lie to her. She tells me, she says, you picked up the shift. I said, oh, 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 hey. You know, I said, I did pick up the shift. However, upon further consideration, I decided that I wanted to be off today. You know, because that's what we're weighing, folks. We're weighing... 5 to 12, those hours of your day, for like maybe, hopefully 100 bucks. Now, could you make more? Yes. You can make 150, 200, you know, I don't think so, if you want my opinion, I don't think so, me at least, you know, maybe you, but not me. So I said, you know, respectfully... Nobody, nobody picked it up, nobody did nothing, I kept checking... God knows, you know, the Lord knows, you know, you know, I checked that shit like tons of times. <laughs> I checked it a whole bunch of times because I wanted to see, did somebody pick it up and nobody did nothing about it. So here we are. Okay. We got a full gym session. We played some basketball and now we're essentially sitting on the Titanic it's raining buckets. It's it's raining absolute buckets out here. I'll tell you what. You see me with my feet out here up on the table. Uh, you know, and look at these. These are the limited edition actual boots that were worked in. You can tell because the bottom is sh shredded. Uh, but don't text me. Don't call me. Don't knock on my door. Um... But the water, the water is uh, taken. It's sprung a leak in the back here. It looks like the first floor. Well, no, it doesn't look like the first floor of the Titanic because that would be all water. I don't know. It looks like maybe like Hurricane Frank, you know, Tropical Storm Frank is in the back of uh, my shed, you know, Florida. The coast of the Gulf Coast is in the back of my shed right now. Just chilling. And my dad was smart, you know. He's a smart guy. Never told him he wasn't. I said some other mean things to him, but I never said that. Um, The water, yeah. No, he said, he said, sheetrock, you know, and stop commenting about the sheetrock. I'm working on it. All right, if you really want to come over here and fix it, come over and fix it, Patrick. Every, every freaking time, Patrick is saying that the sheetrock needs to be fixed. That there's holes, that he could have did a better job. Okay, come over here, Patrick. Come over. Okay? I know you live around the corner, pretty close. I know you got good shoes. I know it's raining out. You might need an umbrella. But come over here and help me. Or say nothing. But my father, good guy, by the way, uh, he told me uh, the sheetrock, he said, you got to put the wood. He said, you got to do the wood. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. And I said, hey, you know, what I'm saying? you know, I'm kind of a young spry guy. I like to think that I'm smart and cocky, and maybe you know know a few things, but I don't. But I did it. I did what he said, because sometimes I like to listen. On this day, I guess I decided to. Most of the time, I'm a rebel. But yeah. 
Could you imagine if the uh, wolf from Harry Potter and uh, the Order of the Phoenix? I don't know. The third one? Uh, ooh, excuse me. The third one. The serious black one. Oh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You know when Professor Lupin is the wolf? Yo, know, I couldn't. Could you imagine? He's just like out here. Or back there. And then just a. Uh, you know, every time I look at these, look at the windows and like outside, like I think about like uh, the uh, the Harry Potter forest, which is such a scary forest. I don't think people like, I don't think it's been touched on enough how scary that forest really is. And they definitely made me feel that way. No matter where you go, there's something absolutely nuts in that forest, but you don't even see it. You don't see it and then you're there with the spiders or the centaur popped out, or there's a giant. You know, God knows who's hiding. I mean, Hagrid's hiding all these things back there. Sorry, we're going off on a Harry Potter tangent. Been watching those, you know, those are good movies. I like to pretend like I'm in Hogwarts. You know, I have woods too, but you know, I could be in Hogwarts. And here we are, probably like 45 minutes in, where... It's just nonsense. You know, in the beginning, you're shaky. You're nervous. You don't know what you're talking about. 45 minutes in, you're nuts. You're crazy. And you're you're looking out the back window when your phone is over there. You know, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I don't like living by myself. You know, sometimes I have to go through periods where I'm like living by myself. And, like, even this week, like, you know, uh, my girl is sick, so she hasn't really been with me as much as she normally, you know, has been, which is great to have a, you know, companion like that to um, not make you talk to yourself. <laughs> See, look at that. That was really, like, Heath Ledger-esque. I just said that, and then I laughed, and I thought it was funny, and you thought it was funny. Come on, guys. We know what it is. It's, it's a pen. It is a pen. But yeah, I ain't hit it for a while. I actually told myself that I had to wait for this to do it. You know, a little incentive. I like to set little traps, incentives, things for myself. Yeah, but I don't like living alone. I don't. I just don't. It's just, it's like weird. Like it doesn't feel real. You're going through the days. You're like, what is going on? Very confusing. It's very, uh, very confusing. You know, being an in a, in a adult or not even like being an adult, whatever you want to call me, is very like, you know, uh, every day. Very, it's very, it's tough. Sobering, you know, I guess that's ironic to say rather because the way that I choose to deal with it is not exactly sobering, but it's a lot. You know, and having to do it by yourself for any portion of time is never, like, fun, you know. Uh, I always like to be with the warmth of other people as much as sometimes they piss me off. You know, I like them to still be there. Even if I don't want to be in the same room as you, I want you to be a room next to me. So if I need to see a person, I can go over there and be like, oh, what's up? Oh, you're in here? I can make some stupid joke, then realize I'm not funny. Then I can walk away and go downstairs where I look at my phone, which God knows what that means. You know, yo, it's a, it's a troublesome world out here. I mean, I'm not, I'm in the back shed. Look at what I'm doing right now. I'm making a podcast talking nonsense to a camera, hoping that, you know, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's to catalog. It's to, and who is texting me at this hour? It's to catalog the experience. No. Computer is broken. It doesn't work at all, no, no. I 
thought it would work, but it doesn't want to work. My phone just died over here, so I'm going to sing a different song for you today. The Seattle song, and it is... Oh, I just realized that I have it here. I don't even... It's downloaded. I don't have to go on the damn internet for this one. Baby, where is it? Classic. You guys will love this. Actually, my favorite. Yeah, ma'am. We sprung a, a darn leak out here. We sprung the leak, man. It's been rain. It was raining over there. I see it on that board over there. I didn't realize it, it rains over there, but that's right where the skylight is. And it's literally rained all day. It snowed earlier, but it got warmer, and that's the only reason it's not snow right now. But it would actually be like a thousand times better if it was snow. This freaking rain. I I have to put a picture of this because. It's like a solid two inches back here. I couldn't wear the sneakers that I wanted to wear because there's just rain. And I tried to mop it out. I don't know. <laughs> there's a garage door right there. So I tried to mop it out, but... Boom. Boom. Every day gets weirder. Every day is more of a progression. And, you know, as much as I like, you know, wow, that's, this is crazy because American Psycho is such an accurate description. Like, it's like he just is clinging. He needs his procedures. He needs his little things. He's got to do his face routine in the morning. Because, man, it's like every day, you know, we're looking at the bone paper. Mine is a white ceramic bone. Oh, mine is a... What is going on here? You know, I always, to, to, to put a nice, I always get to the point of the, the reason of it all. Isn't there is a reason of it all? It's, it's me and you. And I, I've probably said that before, but if not, I'll say it again. It's not like where anybody's going. It's that I'm here and you might be here. And we're all here. That's why it's been upsetting to maybe be, like, upset with, like... I don't like to be upset with people. I don't want to be upset with you. I don't want to be at odds with nobody. I want to be friends. You know, what's up with that? Do you need to be a people pleaser? You know, not exactly... Uh, you know, like, I don't... <sighs> what kills me is that sometimes I'm rude to people. And I don't want to be rude to people, but I also don't want people to be rude to me, I guess, is the thing sometimes. Like, I don't want to be disrespected. So when you disrespect me, I disrespect you back, which is the old saying, two wrongs don't make a right. But man, that might be that might be what it is, because that's probably like I feel some type of way about whatever it is. For what reason? I don't know why. You know, I I mean, maybe I'd like to respect me, but I'd like somebody to notice me instead of just like pretending that I don't exist or like just, you know, pushing me out of the way, which doesn't happen. But if it like kind of happens, I, you know, I'm taking it the wrong way. I know. Wrap up. The song ended. Come on. I'm making a point. Yeah. Just keeps going every day. It's another day. You know, it's a forward progression. It's not a circle. The week tricks me into thinking it's a circle. Things will happen again. Oh, things will be, you know, like they were. I mean, things will, things are all right, you know? <laughs> Sounds like the ramblings. You know, but things are great. You know, I'm happy, healthy. I don't think wise, maybe wise, introspective. Who knows? Try to delve into my mind, anybody's mind. Such a puzzle, such a such a maze, you know. The really the rhyme or reason of anything is is always so challenging for me. But yeah, folks, uh 
<sighs> I'm ending now. This is done. Rainbows and Sunshine. Thursday, January 26th. 12.07 a.m. It's pouring rain here. It's pouring rain here on the East Coast in the beloved mountain. Have a good night.